This video was sponsored by the Albert app themselves. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring me. I greatly appreciate it. Now let's jump into this video. So y'all know I be struggling with my finances and I just recently got into a better place. Show you guys an app that's actually been helping me budget my coin and keep me in a nice comfortable space. I got that from the Drake album. Don't copyright me, Drake. So y'all know I might look like someone who don't care about their finances like these bundles honey or this makeup honey or i like nice things honey but i always get things second hand i like literally research and find things that i want second hand because ain't nobody got time to be spending that original coin like no i need that reduced coin now using this app the app is called albert app it actually helps you budget your finances really simple and easy to use you use it straight from your phone and you can start acting like an adult even if you don't want be an adult. Everything is literally in one spot. So if you have a car, if you own your own home, if you have insurance, which you should have insurance on everything, girl, what you doing with your life? This is where you can put it all in one spot and it'll be manageable right at your fingertips. Best part about this app is it's different than other financial um, savings apps where you just put in how much you make, you put in how much you spend every day. This app literally connects to your bank account and it tells you what you're using, what you're saving, how you can save better next month, how you can start budgeting better. It just shows you overall what you're doing with your money. So you're not like, oh my God, my money just slips through my hands. I don't know what happens to it. This app will literally show you what happens to it. It'll help you make smart decisions in the future for yourself, your children. It compares you to other people and shows you where you can improve in your spending now all you gotta do girl there's no gimmick click the link below it's called the albert app it's, it's free so check that link below and i gotta go be a mommy okay but i'm telling y'all this financial situation is gonna get you right click the link all right What's up, so I know you like, girl. What's going on? But I'm not ready to come to terms with it right now. It's Sunday on the Lord's Day. I'm gonna reevaluate myself and everything. I need a church. I need to repent. I need Jesus. Cause I just, oh God, okay. So I'm gonna reevaluate myself on Sunday. And the next time I pick up the camera from today, I will sit down and talk to you guys about everything. Precious Life, I think that's still her name on YouTube. She actually came from Kentucky and I did her intro. And if some of you girls go old school, you know I did her intro like last year sometime so i redid her intro they came for a little bit okay and she gave me a gift which is so freaking sweet she prayed with me which I, I appreciate like that's the best gift for me is for someone to pray for me and to really help me cleanse myself you know what i'm saying like it's just oh you already know what i go through and i feel like prayer is exactly what i need i love you thank you so much everything just thank you so much um she got me a gift too it was so freaking cute like I just I just can't I just really can't but Mimi loved her gift she got her some Mickey Mouse stuff Minnie Mouse stuff and she was pressed so she opened it and I didn't get to even record her because she was already in the car in the box talking about mama this is for me and I'm like girl like she so knows it and unwrapped my stuff I was like it's not yours it's not yours it's mine it's mine give me it it's mine funny. I'm funny yeah. You're so freaking cute. What is on the floor in there? What? Oh, dirty clothes. So ignore that. Ignore the dirty. I'm a human being. Don't do it. Ah. What? Ah. You're so freaking cute. Ah. I'll see y'all when I get there. I will see y'all when I get there. I will see you when I. Hey, I see you when I get there. I will see you when I get there. We gon' see you when we get there. Hey, hey. 
What you got to say? 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 Oh, dirty one. Oh, dirty one. Oh, dirty one. What you got to say? What you got to say? Oh, the beat get I can't do her. She just crazy as her mama. She get it from her mama. She get it from her mama. Hey, she get it from her mama. She get it from her. Let me stop because we will be here dancing all night. Bye, baby love. My baby love. Bye, baby love. To... Mm -hmm. Bye, baby love. I love you. Oh, we love you. Cause what are you still texting other females about? About what? But if I do that, shit, I'm a liar and I'm a cheater, though, right? Texting. And what the f are you talking about? Uh, Who the f are you texting? And why the f are you still texting, bitches? So because he's been using my phone, my Apple ID is on on my phone. Um, so his messages <laughs> come to my computer. This is the message that I see when I open my computer to text. Thought it would be cute to text someone he clearly just met. I had the camera so zoomed up in my face. It was ridiculous, but I'm not about to film this whole story all over again. I look a mess. I got white stuff on my edges. Listen, this is life. I love y'all, and y'all can just bear with me at this moment, okay? I don't care if I look a mess sometimes, just like you wouldn't care if you looked a mess in your house. When you're in your house and you're in your home, you can look a mess. So I am in my home in a comfort of my house and I look a god darn mess. Enjoy the video and do not come for the white stuff on her edges. I laid it down. I gotta wipe it off. I know it's there. I'm not going nowhere. Okay. My face is all types of greasy. I know at the end of the night I'm tired. I gotta wash it. Okay. When y'all open my face, my face looks magnified. I look swollen. I don't know why I was zoomed in that close, but listen, just listen to the story. Okay. All right, love y'all. Here you go. Uh, hey y'all, uh, I'm over here folding clothes because something unexpected happened. Happened for me and my family, and y'all will see in tomorrow's vlog. I'm really excited about it. But I told you guys that I would sit down and make this video and talk to you guys so I'm zoomed in real personal real close or whatever um I feel like I'm the type of person that when you're when I'm wrong I will admit to being wrong in a situation I flipped out I over exaggerated only because I feel like I had all right to over exaggerate. I don't feel like I was at fault for flipping out. I might have been at fault for putting it on YouTube. But I can't say like, okay. I can't even say I was at fault for putting it on YouTube because I'm not sorry about putting it on YouTube. Guys, when I put videos up, it's real life raw stuff. So when I post it, I don't regret what I post, okay? I've never regretted what I post, so I cannot say I'm sorry for posting what I was going through, my inner feelings at the time I was going through, whatever. But I will say that I should have took a second instead of jumping off a cliff. Like, I should just took a second and dealt with it and then maybe posted it after I figured out everything out or whatever. Now, my thing is, I have gone through the most with this man. I have gone through every obstacle, everything you could possibly think of. Like, I have gone through so much with him, being with him for almost 10 years of my life. Almost, well, all of my adult life. Half of my childhood, basically. Like, basically half of my life. Like, 10 years of my life, that's a long time when you're 25. That's almost half of 
my life I have been with him. So I dealt with everything. And when this happened, it was just like icing on the cake for me because I feel like I've been waiting for something to go wrong. Everything was too perfect besides the fact that he doesn't live here. Everything else was too perfect. He was getting help. He was clean. He was happy. He's losing weight. He's trying to go to the gym. Everything was perfect. And I was in my head like something is going to happen. Something's not right. And I feel like that's my fault because I let the devil in. I really was sitting waiting for it. Like where it, when is it coming? Let me know when the train is coming. Is the train here yet? Like I was waiting on it. So when I saw that text, I flipped. I didn't ask any questions. I didn't care to ask any questions. At that point, I was done. I was literally done in my head. Like, I'm done, 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 So, I can't honestly fault myself for that because of all the stress that I've been through. That's just the way I'm going to react to things. But I do need to start thinking as an adult and reacting in a better way than what has been, I've been than what I've been doing all of my life because I feel like I need to grow. I have a little person sitting here watching me and how I handle things and I feel like that might affect how she handles things when she gets older. So I need to focus on that. I need to focus on myself. I need to get right. I need to get better. Um, I'm not one to be like, oh, it's all his fault. It's his fault because everything that he put me through. Like, no, I need to work on myself. I do. I need to work on um, being a better woman. Just in general, besides being married, being a wife, I need to be a better woman. And role model, even role model for you guys watching, all the younger ladies, um, young women out there watching me go through struggles and stuff. I just feel like I need to be a better role model. Now, when I say, I know y'all probably like, you can just keep talking, well, what happened? What happened? What's the tea? I know. There's a lot of people here that don't even care about me as a person. They just want to know some tea. So, I went to the bar. Now, when I went to the bar, I went in there and I saw this girl. She was giving drinks and she looked like she was running the show, basically. And I thought that that was the girl. And I'm sitting there just looking at her like, mm. Mm, asking her questions I was like um, you know who owns the bar how long have you been working here da, 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 whatever she said who owns the bar but it sounded like a man's name now I'm not gonna give you guys the name or anything like that but it sounded like a man's name so I wasn't really focused on the owner of the bar I was just kind of like watching this girl and like you know just sides on up trying to figure things out before I decided how I was going to approach her so when everything was said and done eventually this lady came out from the back and then she was like counting money at the register and then um no actually I was in the bathroom and I came out and then when I came out and I walked past she was counting money at the register I didn't even see her come out from the back so I'm looking like who is this like what so I went to sit back down at the bar and I'm just drinking, you know, just kiki keen with the bartender. Like I said, I was trying to get close to her, talk to her, get some info. Um, and I was like, who's that? So just when she told me the same person, I'm like, oh, it's a lady. Okay. So then um, after that, basically, all of a sudden, then I asked to speak to her. I talked to her. I told her about my situation. I told her about Uriah. And she was like, who? And then I was telling her, I was showing her picture. Yes, I know him. So when she said that, I'm like, okay, so this must be the lady that he was talking about. So we sat, we talked. She literally told me exactly what I read on my computer. She told me the exact same text message. She told me that he sent her pictures because when she called him, she told him on the phone that I'm an older lady. Sometimes I forget things. She said she was joking, but he took her literally and sent her those two pictures that you guys saw. Now, they went on to text some more. I get to read that part because I just logged everything off. I shut down. I stopped talking to everybody. I wouldn't answer his text messages, his calls, anything. And when she was telling me, she actually pulled her phone out and showed me, like, the messages. She showed me his name. She showed me his number. She told me, showed me the pictures that he sent, the first message I read, and then all the messages afterward. And this was literally a business conversation. 
so and the lady was an old old she was probably like she had to be in her late 40s early 50s like not a bad looking lady nothing like that but that's besides the point it was literally a business situation and i took it and i thought that it was more than what it was and i a part of me is still like i don't trust him but then i'm like i have to look inside myself and feel and give him the benefit of the doubt especially after the situation went left and it he was telling the truth the whole time so it's like do i give him a piece of my trust now because it's like you proved yourself or do i still hold my guard up because in the back of my head i'm like okay but then this could be a trick like you let him all in again because you're like oh yay like you really didn't do it let him all in again and then everything just crumbles all over again so i'm just battling with that but i think like i think i'm gonna take a lot of you guys um advice and go find a marriage counselor or a counselor like he has a counselor but i think we need to sit down as a couple maybe even as a family and talk some things out and figure things out and what our next step is as a family because this just ain't gonna work this back and forth all this craziness fussing fighting crying depression i couldn't i couldn't help it i'm sorry this is it's not gonna work it's not gonna work for me and it's not a, a healthy environment period so we're gonna work on it we're gonna get life together i still don't have my ring on but i'm not trying to rush just throwing it on i don't know i feel like oh i don't want to feel like that i don't want to feel like like i don't want to just jump back in like i don't want to i'm like baby stepping in putting my big toe in again and i feel like that's not right because he didn't do anything wrong from what i saw so yeah that was really it the lady bought me some shots and we went to the next bar and then the old hell broke loose and y'all heard the story but that's a whole different I'm just gonna keep focused keep working on me trying to better myself and for my family with my family us uh, trying to get back on track no he's not gonna be moving back in anytime soon i'm still on the guard and the fence like mm, but everything seems okay right now so tomorrow you guys are gonna see something exciting that is happening for our family and it was really last minute so i'm like all over the place that's why i look like crap i'm gonna do a lot before tomorrow so yeah y'all will see that then but thank you guys for watching thank you guys for putting up my craziness i know i say that a lot but it y'all i know it's draining to go through stuff with me but i'm trying i'm working on it and working on myself so i mean that's all you could really do right that's all you could ask for and that's i mean it is what it is this is real life this is what happens people go up and they go down and they go back up and then they go down and they're in the middle and then they're up again and then they go. life is a roller coaster we're all living life we all know that life is a roller coaster so do not knock me okay do not knock me for my crazy gemini ways don't do it <laughs> i love you guys and i'll see y'all tomorrow on our surprise thing that you guys are gonna see all right, bye y'all.